Hi guys, Minx here. Me and Aris playing TikTok Tale for Two here. It's a creepy little adventure game that you play together. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you like it. And I want to thank Alice for uh, being an amazing Nomkin. You can check Alice out via the link in the description too. Make sure you do. She supports in the top tier on Patreon and it helps us out so much. I can't thank her enough for the amazing continued support. Hope you guys enjoy this video. TikTok, a tale for two. Uh, I'll do player two. Okay, I'll be player one then. Here we go. This is TikTok, a tale for two. I said mouthful. TikTok tale for two. <laughs> said uh, tongue twister. Tongue twister, that's <laughs> it, yes. Today you and your friend received two strange packages each containing an old clock. Oh, I've received a package from someone called Amelie Raven, and your friend got one too. Oh, yeah. Interesting. The clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her, Amelie. Okay. I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Amelie. Okay. Pretzel, what? What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a paperclip I can interact with. That's exciting. Um, I scrolled down and I found a pocket watch. Yeah, this is what Amelie <laughs> sent us, presumably, right? I've and got I a, can wind it. I've got a newspaper here. Another, another disappearance. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Leark, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister, Amelie, told us she'd last seen her at 10.30. Um, Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. Uh, something, our village. Understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. If you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. Hmm. I'm winding the clock and nothing's really happening. I think we have to set it to the right time, but I don't know what time to set it to. Is there a time Mine has on a the giant newspaper? crack on it. Oh, 10.30 is the time on my newspaper article, so I'm going to do that, okay. Okay. Let's see. Mine does not have a crack, by the way. Yeah, mine's got a crack down between 1 and 2 clock. Oh, my clock is doing something. It sucked me back. What? Mine isn't doing anything. God damn it. Uh, try doing midnight. Midnight. Yeah. Chapter one. The Lark went missing in 1937, but it all started said, oh. started years before. Mid yeah, midnight's working for me too. 2019. Okay, we're counting back. <laughs> this is a we're copy doing. I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. Interesting. There's just a bird flew by. Um, hmm. All right. This place, Whoa, this place looks lovely. Got like a compass point at the bottom that rotates around. Uh, I've got a train grid. Looks like I drive a train across a grid that presumably you have an answer for. Um, is that creaking noise in the game? Yes, um, I hear flappy noises and rustling bushes. It's a little unsettling. If you scroll to the left, there's a Raven's Clock Shop. There's a well. Yep, Raven, well, house, and then back to the station. Okay, let's look at the well first. Let's work. I, I like that idea. Oh, that's freaky. There's gears by Raven's Clocks, and when you... Uh, Move left or the right, the, they turn. The noise is, I think the noise is coming from your end, the creaking, like actually through your microphone. Like it's like something blowing in the wind or something. Like I have the game muted and I can still hear it. It stopped now. That's maybe weird. it was, um, my mic was maybe too close to my cable. Maybe. It was really weird. I'm at a really awkward setup right now oh, okay, for today. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's head down towards the well. I went in the well. Apparently. Yeah, me too. Let's go down. Did you have a white raven sitting on top of it? Uh, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> There's a box at the bottom of the well. To have shapes with buttons. Yeah, I think we have to match sequences. I, I would, I, okay. I, I, I guess, I would say. Um, so going top left, and then going across. You have the button on the top left, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a white circle. Okay, you're gonna have to chain press that probably and change it. I've got a 
solid black triangle yeah. with the cable coming okay. out the bottom. All right. So uh, the next one I've got, and that is a white circle, the second one along. So change it to a white circle. Okay. And the third one along is what? Uh, white triangle. Okay. Uh, the one in the bottom left-hand corner is a white square. Okay. White square is the one that you've got next as well. And a black circle is the last one. Okay. And pull the lever, I guess. Yeah, that works. And it opened. Yeah. And we got something. Oh, I got a button for my little train control thing. Yeah, same here. I got exactly the same thing. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's go up the ladder. <laughs> it's almost exhausting dragging yeah, up and down. Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> All right. Pretzel, I'm really busy, honey. I love you. I got it. I got to work. Uh, here's the <laughs> clock shop. Let's go to the clock shop next, okay? Okay. Opening hours, three to nine. Oh, so we have to set a clock somewhere, probably. Ah, there was a clock at the station. Yep. The raven's here at the station for me. Uh, I don't see a raven at all here, so... Can we set this clock? Oh. Um, I couldn't set it, but I... Put my button in. Now it's gone. Where did it go? I just want to try something. Give me a second. Oh, the house is freaky. Uh, if you scroll forwards and backwards through the areas, it changes the clock's time. Okay. I've got a bunch. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Now it should be open. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty weird. So there's a staircase that says private that I can't interact with. There's a radio. No. A, Weird. a bunch of clocks, and then there's like a scroll right at the top that I can interact with, but... Oh, there's a calendar right right at the top. Do you have that? Um, I have a news Wednesday edition. Okay, so Wednesday. What's the, what, is there a date and a date? A month? No, it just says Wednesday, and it says... Um, grand opening of clock shop. Hmm. Well, the year is 1927. So the Wednesdays must be the... Monday, Tuesday, would it be that? Or would it be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Hmm. Well, let me see. I can tune my radio. Missing mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they're all found soon. Oh, that's cool. Are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. <gasps> oh, there's a weird little what, upward what, beetle. What month did you say it was, by the way? Oh, we didn't know what month it was, did we? Fuck. Yeah. Okay, well, I could do... Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, I have, I have a date. Okay. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. So it's Wednesday the 18th. And we don't know what month. Oh, Wednesday the 18th of March it was. I hit it on March and it opened. Okay. So I got half a ticket. I'm assuming you need to get the other half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's books in here and some medical tools, but I think the ticket is the key thing. Everything else is not interactable. Yeah. So, yeah. So okay. according to the radio, something is stealing animals. Hmm. That's kind of ominous. And then they're talking about a clock shop and clockwork creations. I'm a little worried that our clock person is turning people into clockwork That things. sounds pretty disturbing. My radio doesn't seem to want to tune. Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. That's not ominous. Oh, maybe it will. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Huh. So it's like fragments. An unusual oh. white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the blank. 
Yeah, it's the Raven family. So you've got the second... I've got the second half of all of those. Ah, okay. So let's go from the start. So do you, you have one right at the far left? Um, yeah. It says, missing mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they're all found soon. Last month, the, the police started getting several reports of pets going missing. That's Then that continues. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then it's... Uh, the next sentence is... Re, uh, the oldest raven daughter, Emily, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Okay. I just saw one. One just came down the steps, actually. Yeah, the little beetle. Yeah. The raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's... Sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Okay. I think that's all we can do there for now. We'll leave the... Yeah, so that... Yeah, that would probably give you a hint of the month as well, like month and date. Uh, yeah, I guess I had it by pure chance on the right one, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else is there? Let's do the house. Okay. Um, it's like to the left twice from the clock shop. Yeah, I don't have any. I haven't gotten anything in the clock shop yet. Okay. Is there? But you There's haven't got a, a calendar, right? No, I have um, a bunch of clocks. Yeah, you can't interrupt. That are all stuck at like seven forty-five. Okay. And there's a cuckoo clock, which I would maybe think will do something important. Okay. I just can't seem to control the clocks at oh, all. Oh, oh, okay. So I went, I went to the house, yeah, and I turned yeah. the bulb on, and loads of text for you were showing up. I think. Um. Well, let me go look at the house. Yeah, just see um, what you can see in the just in the main area. It's only like one little screen. Oh, hi, Raven. Um, in the house, I have the shadow of a birdcage and a jack in the box. You don't have a light bulb. Nope. Can you interact with anything? In like, uh, can you click things or? The jack in the box, I can wind. Do it. And there's a little thing that clicks when I go past um, some of it, but I can't open it. Okay, so it says here, it's like blank words are missing in this sentence. So it's Lerky, that's a name I think. Something yeah. hope, something like, something present. So I hope you like the present, it's probably a safe assumption. Something it, something, and so something it, something three. Something clockwise, something anti-clockwise. So- Oh, it's a code. It's a code. Uh, so we could go with, uh, well, I actually don't know. We might need the numbers. I need the numbers from somewhere, probably. Give me a minute. Oh, hang on. Is that on your ticket? Hang on, I've got, the, I've got it, I've got it, I've got the whole thing. I've got the whole thing. Okay. I had to turn the wheel and it made this, it made, like, I say, you got to turn it anti-clockwise three times. Try the jack-in-the-box, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice. Okay. Anti-clockwise twice. Okay. And then turn it clockwise till something happens. That would be something that popped out. And there's my other half of the ticket. Ah! That, so that looks like what we have to navigate the train. Yes, it is. It, we we have the two halves of it. So let's go and have a look at it. I need to go get my other half ticket. Did you? I couldn't pick mine up. Mine just sort of stayed there. Did yours stay there or? Yeah, it stayed there. But I am going to scribble down really fast. Okay. What that is? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm gonna screenshot it. Because <laughs> I'm really fucking lazy. Okay. Perfect. I think we got this. 
So let's go back to the train. Insert the button. Yes. So I already inserted the button. So. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have to tell me. I've got the second half, so you're gonna have to tell me the first. Yeah. Half. So okay, we... first half is up one, up two, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Down, down, right. And that's it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so then it's up, up, up. Then it's right, right, up, then right. Okay, that unlocks yep. things. Oh, there's now a train up there. Oh, chapter two. Oh, do I click on the train? There we go. Yeah. I told Lurk I was making her clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Interesting. It was getting harder to find animals from my experience, but I still knew one I could easily get access to. Oh. Yep. Clockwork animals. Yeah. The poor animals. Do you think she made her sister clockwork? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be the, the twist. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Closed track. That means... Okay, so that's the previous one. You can't use that anymore. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, the little arrows at the bottom of the screen are clock hands. I got it. Um, so you want to start with the well again? Oh, there's a new... There's not a well. There's a trumpet house. Let's have a look. I've got the raven's clocks. I've got a trumpet house. Yeah, I've got the house from before. Let's have the trumpet house. It's new, so let's go there. <coughs> uh, post office. That's what it is. <laughs> one, one second. <laughs> Sorry, anything like that. Um, I have a couple of postmarks that say Denmark 5. Okay. And Post Brevkase, which is post box? I, I guess. Can you not interact with anything else in there? Nope. I can play with the flap on the post office box and click on some papers that don't open. Mm, okay. And shake some boxes. <laughs> I guess we could leave this for now then? Like, I... I, I... It definitely yeah, I don't is think like, we have... It's definitely compass points, so yeah. All right. Let's go to the clock shop. There I go. Uh, clock shop isn't open for me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not open for me either. All right. I think it's open now. Yep. Oh, there's a letter and a key. Me. All right. Well, I have. I have. A, I have the white raven. I have a a, to a message from Emily saying, "Do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed." Okay. Okay. I had a letter that looks like it has a key in it, and then I have a clock shop key and a picture of somebody with a white raven. I've got an apprenticeship. Dear Amelie, I'm pleased to inform you you've now been chosen by my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I'm looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. She totally is making humans clockwork. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything in here. Uh, but it says come um, back after hours? Oh, I've got the key. I bet I have to drop the key in the yeah, okay. I have a letter with a key. Okay. So I'm going to go to the mailbox, drop that in my mailbox, and see if you get it. Okay. Do you know what number your mailbox is? Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's just go and try number that. Number 28. 28! I have compass points now. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Let's go. Let's do that. All right. And then I can so go into the clock shop when it's closed, that means. Yep. All right. So uh, 28, and what are the compass points? Northwest, okay. west, 
Hang on, southwest and east. Northwest, west, southwest. Okay, opened. And I got a letter from Emily. I'm yep, opening it up. I should have the key in it. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the key to the clock shop. Perfect. Oh, that's really clever. All right. Okay, I, now I need to make it close the clock shop. So bear with me a moment while I do that. I'll do the same thing. Uh, I need to go forward instead of backwards. God damn it. I wish you could just click the clock. <laughs> like, I know this is kind of cool, but it's also quite a bit annoying as well. Yeah, especially if you go the wrong way. All right, it's closed now. Okay. I'm going in I've got now. a gemstone book. I went in the post office like an idiot. Hang on. Oh, there were gemstones on the desk when I was in there. So that's probably... Yeah, I'm using the key right now. In we go. All right. Okay, yeah, there's a clock here. Uh... Uh, new methods of measuring time. Accuracy. Uh, figured out the timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plate. And then I think this sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing okay. time. So what's the sequence? Because I've got a mo I've got to match that sequence. Yeah, it's a sliding so puzzle I've got. Tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby, and okay. the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I have no- I'm just moving things around right now. Mm. Done! It's doing something. It's like making- the- the- the raven got sucked into the clock. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> that's creepy. Uh, let's check out the house. There's nothing else here now. Yep. I don't really know what we achieved there, but okay. House. Here we go. Uh, I have a bunch of bells. Okay. I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Okay, so I can go down to the basement. Can you not do that? Um, no, I can just ring the bells. Okay, apparently. so how many bells are there? Six. Hmm... So down here, there is a rope, and it says, It really well, like you, did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. What? There's also a lizard that I just clicked on, and it, it moved. And, it, okay, this, they're, all, they're all leaving text behind. Give me a minute. Let me just click on everything down here. It's, it's mm -hmm. leaving, like, a solution as, as I interact with stuff. Okay. All right. At least I think it is. Okay, yeah, it definitely is. Okay, let me read this to you. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lek. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back to complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. That's what it says. <laughs> okay, so I thought... Study... Kitchen. Yeah, pantry. Dining hall. Yeah, uh, it's the three rooms missing. I mentioned the study, the pantry, and the dine and the dining hall. Okay, I don't have a pantry. I just have a kitchen. Yeah, it's so I think the same thing. Yeah. Um. So I hit those bells, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just really fast succession. Okay. Like I literally had to click all of them. Within this space of about a second. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. The door is open now. Oh, okay. I have to scroll down. All right. Oh. So, hang on. I'm just going to check something. Right back. All right. You just keep. I'm. Okay. I'm still here. I'm just. I'm not in the house. Is what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um. What did you get from that? I am opening a barrel. It looks like I'm cracking it open. And I got a watch. And it's, it's gonna... the same cracked watch that and, I saw and, and, before. And it's, and it's pointing in different directions, right? Yeah, it did. Those are directions for the train again, I'm pretty sure. But we have to work out which half is which. So we're going to have to write down our whole sequence. 
Okay. Let me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna reset mine so I can see it from the start. Hopefully, you know what I mean. I don't know when the start of it is. Is the problem? Um, it swirls around a full okay. time before it does it. All right. So I, I'm gonna gamble and say I'm the second half again, and you're the first half. We'll try it that way first. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm already fucking. I'm already fucking nervous. Okay. So I think it's going to be right, right, right. Down, right, down, down, right. It is. Yeah? Yep. Whew. And now the train should have arrived, right? Yeah. It has indeed. Chapter 3. It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. I knew Lyric wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Hmm. Alright, so I have a locked gate on the main screen. Oh, we're in the year when uh, Lyric dies. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, go to the right and there's the house. Let's do the house first this time. We're right to left. There's a phone in the house. Okay. Um, I turned, like, the mansion or whatever, I turned all the lights on. Okay, I didn't do that, but we'll go back. Okay, it's the same as before. I've got, like, bits of a conversation. And I think I need you to fill in the, uh, the rest. You oh, know on I mean? the phone? Yeah. Although I don't think all of it's right. Like, I've got a... It's a, it's a correct sequence, you know what I mean? Yeah, I have a phone with numbers, and I have to put them in. What the fuck? You, I oh, triggered, you? I triggered Siri then somehow. <laughs> I was gonna say I heard somebody talking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what? How do I reset it? Because mine's broken now. Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. Right. So I think the very um, first one is two for me, and it says, "Hey, Lek, I'm so glad you finally." Okay. Um. Hold on. Uh. So. So to visit, there is now a dark tower. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then. You'll need to find the next bit of the conversation that continues from Halek. I'm so glad you finally. I think it's this one, um, which is a plus. Okay. Just to visit, there is now a dark tower. I'm not sure. I don't think that makes sense. I'm glad you. I'm so glad you finally to visit. Um, I'm seeing what I've got. Yeah, go through all them all one more time. Read, read them out to me, each one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. Mad at me when I arrived. Decided to pick up the phone. You I finally I decided to pick up the phone. That's right. Phone. Yeah. Yeah. So Helek, um, I'm so glad. Upstairs. Yeah, that's fine. So what's so how does it end? So Helek, I'm so glad you finally. What's the next bit say? Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Okay, so I've got to find the next bit. Hang on. All right, I've got it. I think. Yeah, you so. Uh, I've been leaving you so many messages. Wait, I know you're still. Mad at me? Was that something you said? Mad at me when I. Um, I don't think it's that one. Let's see. Um, you're still angry, but don't hang up on me yet. Okay, so... I, I really want you to... Okay, I really want you to... Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, in fact, is this it? Yep. Yeah. Know that before I left, I made you something to keep. It's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die. Okay. It's not that one. So I need to remember that. Two star four. Okay. Can Maybe this one? I can cannot die earlier, but you... Never mind. Are you still... Matt... No. I don't think that one's right. Are you still...
Are you still there? Okay. You know your raven, the one that went missing, the one... Okay, uh, the one you named Col, I made a new one for you. Hmm. So my solution is two star four three O. So how does that one end? Uh, you named Col. The raven you named Cole. I made a new one for you, comma. Um, I don't have anything that fits. I have something that goes, you company, I would have told you, mad at me when I arrived, and to visit, there is now a dark tower. I think the Dark Tower one is right. I made a new one for you to visit. It is now, yeah, that's the right one. It's that one. Okay, okay. So what's your code? Because we both need to probably need each other's codes, I'm guessing. Uh, crap, I put the wrong one in. Um... Okay. I have my code is seven five eight uh tilde plus. Tilde. Yeah, it's the little curvy minus looking thing. Okay. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. Seven five eight tilde plus. Yep. Mine is two star four three zero. Okay. All right, we'll leave this for now. That's the house done, I think. Okay, yeah, I have exactly the same machine. So let's do this, I guess. Okay, I turned it on. It's giving me dot, dot, dots. And turned off. You have a, it's a timed one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've got to tell each other which one to click. It'll appear on the screen and be really fast. Okay, so three... Two, one. Tell me which one to click as soon as you can. I just seen three dots. Oh, fuck. Huh. I'm going to try something on my end. Okay, give me a minute, okay? Okay. I've got three. Okay, click three dots. Yeah. What? So, I, my one has a bird, yeah? And then three dots appear. Oh, I'm filling in each blank. We both got to take a... the same one. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. The three, the dot, okay. the, the dots are like we have to. The other person has to fill in what it is. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Uh, first thing you click is the bird. Start it up. Click the bird. Okay. And then tell me what the next one is. Snake. Okay. Then it's the six next. The six. I don't have a six. What the fuck? I don't either. What the fuck is the sixth? Is it the, oh, it's the sixth one on the board. So it'd be the moth. One, go. Go. Yeah. Bird, snake, moth, keyhole, hourglass, cog, ladder, doll, moth, snake, wolf, Bird, snake, keyhole, cog, snake, bird, keyhole. There you go. Yep. Okay, Holy I shit. have two X's on northeast. I have two X's on south and southeast. Okay. All right. So I guess that's important for something. I'm still not quite sure how that translates to the Morse code shit that I've got. I, I have no idea either. Oh, yeah. I've got a radio now. Power is on in the house. Ah, me too. So let's do the radio, I guess. All right. 
So first one, the three patients from the nursing home in Hillbeak. Det Hillbeak. Determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's Clocks. That didn't make sense. <laughs> Oh, I did. The three patients were determined to open and bring back glory, I guess. Oh, well, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. It was my bad. I missed one. Okay, so have vanished in the middle of the night. That makes more sense. Okay. Because now I have the talented Amelie even has returned from Switzerland. She is... Determined to reopen and bring back to Raven's Clocks. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Okay. The police are looking for anyone who is in the vicinity of the nursing... Home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing patients. The post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready. To be used again. There is already a letter in post box 34. I guess that's important. Okay, 34. Okay. Um... The tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsold like those five years ago. We have no news when a train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. Uh, Clarissa Shar, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last month. At the opening ceremony next week, we will honor her memory. That's it. So locker 34. Right? Okay, and then we've got the directions. Yes. South and southeast, and yours was north and northeast. Yep. Okay. So you know how to open Locker 34 now. Yes. Let me find 34. Alright, 34. Hopefully you'll get some Morse code in here, because I've just got this fucking Morse code machine sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two on northeast, and you said you had one on south and southeast? South and southeast, yeah. I uh, have a telegram. What does it say? It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. So I bet every time it says short, that's a dot, and every time it says long, that's a yep. dash. Okay, so go, go for it. Okay, so tell me. So dot, dot. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, it's a dash first. Okay, let's, let's do the whole sequence first. Dash? Yeah. Dash. Dot. Dot. Yep. Dash. Dash. That's... Okay. Here we go. Give that a shot. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing. Let me try again. Maybe I did it wrong. Yeah, that worked. I just guess I didn't do it fast enough the first time. Yeah. I do wish the reset timer on the puzzles like that wasn't so Okay, so small. <laughs> there's a light bulb here and it's pulsing okay i guess she said she'd guide the letter says it'll guide the way ah oh, hang on let me have a look let me have a look let me have a look let me, let me give, give me a minute to like mm -hmm. okay it stopped um I'm so confused right now. Give me a minute. So it's It's doing like a Morse code here, it is, with, with the lights. Hmm. Oh, I've got... You said you could light the lights outside. Do we have to light them? Is the Morse code? Like, one could, like... Like, I don't know if dashes on or dots on, but you know what I mean. Let 
me just test something. Okay, so turn on the first two lights on uh, the main gate. Okay. And then the fifth one. Okay. All right. And then scroll across. To... So it's the first two and the fifth. Okay, you think across the entire screen and not um... just the gate. I think we have to go to the we have to the house next. Go to the house. Okay. Do dot the first three is dot dot dot. So three first three and the last one. Okay. All right. Then the next screen, it's going to be the first two and then the fifth one. So the middle one of the second batch. Okay. And then the clock shop, it's going to be the third, fourth, and fifth. And that worked. That worked. Yes. Yep. That was difficult. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, Morse code, code stuff is just hard. <laughs> All right. We're inside the building. You inside? Yep. Uh, let's see. I pulled down a ladder and yeah. it dusted off letters. Yeah. <laughs> All those years in Switzerland made it possible to finally finish the clockwork. My last memory of Lerk was the suspicious frown on her face. Okay. Keep going up, I guess. There's another ladder. Uh, I double-checked Lerk's clock. It ran exactly as it should. At first, she didn't want the clock. She said she was tired of my presence. Okay. Then it's, uh... It didn't occur to me that cracking the clock face would make a difference. I held it out to her anyways, because I needed her to be with me. What are these jars? Do you see these jars on the next floor? Yeah. Um, 10, 11, 13, 08, 11, 11, 180. Yeah, same ones here. I'd spent years collecting time for us, time that would be added to our lives. Oh, I guess this is what I never... this is. Oh, I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. Ah. Oh, there's more. Instead, she disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. She closed her hand around the clock, and I never saw her again. Look at the next room, by the way. I guess we click uh... on the middle jar. I opened it up. It sucked my time out, I think. Yep, yeah, I think so too. 58. 58. Is that how long it took us to beat? Like 58 minutes? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you beat the game. Such a shame to see all that time go to waste. I didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friend appreciate it. You have lost 58 minutes of your life. Wonderful. Lerk would have added 58 minutes to hers. Emily added 58 minutes to hers. Oh, because we each have the different watch. Got it. Yeah. Aw. That's, well, that's it. cute. That was an interesting little uh, little game. <laughs> Very quirky. I'd have liked it to have been a, bit, a bit darker, I think. But overall, I liked it. You know, it was, it was, it was pretty good. Very clever the way it works as well. Yeah, and it's kind of nice to find one that doesn't require you to be online to do it. Yeah, it's it's nice the way it works. You know, you wouldn't be able to solve it by yourself because you need the other half of the code and things like that. So, yeah, yeah, I quite liked it, and I think I think we did that quite well an hour to beat it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get stuck on puzzles. And <laughs> then I thought the Morse code. When I saw the Morse code machine, I was like, I just rolled my eyes. I was like, oh fuck. It's a fucking Morse code machine. The worst thing in history ever. 